Okay, welcome back to the Every Chess YouTube channel. On today's class, we'll be learning how to draft a basic sketch block. This is a requested tutorial from the beginners, and I'll try to simplify this as much as possible. There are several ways you can do this, there are several methods, but I'll try to just make this simple and easy to understand for everyone. The measurement I'll be working with is waist 30 inches, hip line. Hip line is your measurement from your waist to your hip vertically. That's 7 inches. The hip circumference measurement is 40. This waist also is the waist circumference. That's around your waist where you place your skirt. And the skirt length is 25 inches. Okay, these are the measurements I'll be working with. And I'll be drafting it on this paper. So I've posted my paper into two. Like I said, I'll be, I'll be making it simple for us. So I'm going to be cutting the front and back together. This here is the front and this is the back. And I have a one inch extension here for the zipper allowance for the back. Okay, so now let's draft this. So I'll be taking this first part here to be my waistline, waist measurement. So from that point, I'm going to mark my waist to hip measurement, which is my hip line. And that's seven inches. So from there, I'll put my tape and then mark seven inches. And then from there, I'm going to mark my skirt length measurement. The skirt length I'm working with is 25. I have around 24 and a half here, so I'll just be maintaining what I have there. Okay? So like I said, it's simple. You can see you don't require too much measurement. I'm just going to make this hip line measurement into a straight line. Okay? So we have this first one to be our waist measurement, our hip line measurement, where we'll take our hip measurements. And this here is going to be our skirt length. Your skirt length is where you want your skirt to stop. It doesn't have any static measurements. You have to measure that on your client. So now the next measurement I'll be inputting is my waist measurement. So waist circumference I measured is 30 inches. And I'll be dividing that by 4. Okay. So remember this is a half scale. This is the center front. So 2 for front, 2 for back. That's why we are dividing it by 4. And 30 divided by 4 is going to give me 7 and a half inches. So I'll take my tape rule now and then measure the 7 and a half inches here. Okay. So this skirt is going to be having a dart, a waist dart of 1 inch, half, half inch on both sides. So I'm going to be adding the half inch here like this. Okay. So I'll move over to my hip. The hip measurement I'm working with is 40 inches divided by 4 is going to give me 10 inches. So I'm going to mark the 10 inches here. And then for a straight regular skirt, on your M line, you just maintain what you have here. The 14 inches that you have here, you maintain it downwards. But if you have a pencil skirt, you're going to be reducing these measurements by maybe 2 inches, depending on how pencil you want it to be or one and a half so let's say i'm reducing this by one and a half i have 10 inches here 10 minus one and a half is going to give me eight and a half so i'm going to remove eight and a half here so here you have to be careful of what you are re removing sorry because remember i said this is divided. you can see our measurements are divided by four because we have it front front right remember this is a skirt now okay so this is a skirt so we we have one two for front and another one two for back so let's say you are removing two inches from this it means you are removing two for for front two inches for the other side of the front two for one side of the back and two for the other side of it that's going to be a total of eight inches okay so it has to be careful the one and half i removed is going to be a total of six inches from the old skirt so it doesn't get too tight so now i hope you understand that so now I'm going to take my curve driller now and then connect my points together. Okay. So I'm connecting from waist to hip and then from hip I'll connect it down to my actual measurement using this curve. Okay. Okay, so we have our basic skirt block like that. So you can see it's simple. So now I'll go over to my waist measurement. Remember, I had one inch for my waist that. So here, 
I've been putting my bust spine measurement, which is also known as the nipple to nipple. For me, that's eight inches divided by two is going to give me four inches, which is what I have here. So I'm going to be measuring four inches, and then the, that leg I'm working with is five inches. Okay, so there I'm going to make it into a straight line. You can see I took this measurement from my center back, not the side. And then on that point, I'm going to be taking half half inch that half half inch, and then I'm going to connect that to the that leg. Okay, so our skirt is basically almost ready. You may want to transfer that that to your back part using your tracing wheel. Okay. So you just need to use that to trace your dad so that by the time you remove your pattern you will know where your dad is okay so the sketch is done now we just need to add whatever allowance that you sew with so i'm going to be adding one inch allowance seam allowance to this and if you are not adding allowance to this you need to note it on your pattern so that when you are transferring it on your fabric you will know that there is no allowance on the skirt and what we just need to do now is to cut this out and then our skirt is ready so you can see how simple it is to make a basic skirt block as you can see is my front block and this is my back block so you can see how simple it is to trust this so this is actually very important because this is the basic sketch block and it is this that we're going to be manipulating to get different types of skirt so it is important that you know how to draft this and master this so that anytime we're just drafting any skirt tutorial I'm just going to be drafting, picking up the pattern because I may not start from the beginning like this again. So once you know how to do this, wherever it is that I'm picking up from, you will be able to understand this. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, let us know in the comment section. Like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any question on this basic sketch block, feel free to ask your questions in the comment section and i'll be happy to answer your questions like i said i hope you enjoyed this if you enjoyed this you can share with your friend like comment and subscribe to our channel if you haven't and i'll see you in the next one bye